Okay, so what we're going to go over in this video is time intelligence functions. Okay, so we've already touched on one, and I will um, just bring that up again, just to quickly show you what we've done. So I've got the date, I'm going to get rid of that hierarchy, and then I'm going to um, compare my sales this year to my sales last year. Okay, so this is the ex an example of one time intelligence function. There's no there's no results here because we don't have any data before to 2018. So you see here the first results we had from a last year perspective uh, on the 1st of January. This is just demo data, by the way. But this is just one time intelligence out of many. So I'm just bringing up the um, formula reference guide here, right? And so this has all, this is, has nearly every DAX function. I think there's a few missing that you probably will, will hardly ever use. But look, there's a, this is a, an entire section on date and time functions. These are all time intelligence functions, okay? And there's some here that you'll use quite a lot, and some are quite um, unique. And so you, you, you might never use them, or you use them very, very rarely. Okay, so... Um, and one other thing I'll, I'll, I'll just quickly mention is that a lot of them are actually the same thing, but like they calculate a similar thing, but they're just at a different um, granularity. So some are at month, some are at quarter, some are at year, or, or they're, just, they're just looking over a different time frame uh, is a better way to phrase it. And so you see here dates MTD is month to date, quarter to date, year to date. So in terms of like how the function actually works, it's exactly the same as just calculating up a different um, time frame okay so that's something just to bear in mind that there's not actually the, as many um, from a understanding perspective because you know a lot of these threes are bunched into one okay so let's just go over a, a few others that I'd like to introduce you to which will, I think you'll um, uh, are, are worth you like diving into early on okay so instead so we've got sales last year here right I'm gonna show you a function called date ad which is actually my favorite time intelligence function or my um, time comparison function um, so I'm going to go date add example here basically what date add allows you to do you put it inside of calculate it allows you to jump between any number of time frames so it's this sales last year that we use that there was a function that was called same period last year that only lets you allows you to jump one year that's the only um, functionality with 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 that function but date add what it does is says it moves the given set of dates by a specified interval so you can actually input a range of different intervals and so i can just put dates here my date column and then i'm going to say okay well i want to go minus one and check this out i can go either day month quarter and year i can actually get exactly the same result as this one by using the date add function. But the reason I like the date add function is because of its versatility. I could just say jump back one quarter instead of one year. And I could um, just go like this, I go enter, and I could drag that in, and now I'm looking at my quarterly values, right? So I'm jumping back one quarter prior. Um, I could also change this to say two quarters. Maybe I wanted to go two quarters. Well, it's as easy as that. I could just change it like that. Maybe I want to look at two days ago. I could then change that to two days. You can even go plus if you really want, right? So you could actually go plus two days. And so there's a lot of versatility there. That's why I really like it. Um, and, um, you know, I think you'll like it too. So, so really, really spend a bit of time working through that one and, and thinking about all the great calculations you can do, not only just with that, but also... Um, what you could do post then as well. Say you wanted to work out, you know, think about you want to work, might want to work out the difference between today and yesterday. Well, this is how you would get there, right? You would say minus one day, and then you would create another measure like this. Um, so you see here that this 25,327 it, it was the prior day, right? So say I want to create, work out the difference. Well, then, and this is where you can, you know, this, is, this is where measure branching comes into the four. Um, I can say daily daily difference, something like this. And then all I've got to do is total sales minus my date add example, which was my previous day, right? I'd probably I'd of course name that a lot better. Um, but then now I'd have the difference. And so this is this is where time intelligence functions can take you. They can take you um, in many different directions depending on what insight you 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 want to find. Okay, 
So let's do a couple more examples. So um, just to give you a much um, um, a bigger idea of what's possible here. Okay, so what maybe we want to calculate like a month to date value. Okay, so I'm gonna go um, sales MTD a month to date. I'm gonna go calculate total sales. And there's another function which is just set up specifically for us. This is what's so great about time intelligence functions is that there are a whole grouping of functions, of table functions that have been set up specifically just for time related insights. Okay. Because if you had to write these out in full with the core table functions, they would actually be a lot com more complicated, but they've made it super easy. So I can use a function, I can go and find dates MTD here. So returns a set of dates in the month up to the current date. Okay, so I can go and then just all I have to do is enter the date table, the dates column, sorry, in my date table. And then if I drag this in here, I'm now getting a cumulative total that at a monthly level. Okay, so if I wanted to, I just did a copy and paste there just to quickly get me that result with the date. And I'm just going to turn into a visualization because so you can see what it's actually doing. So you see here, I'm now getting an aggregate, I'm getting cumulative totals, you know, month to date numbers um, shown in my visualization now, right? And I could also, and this is this is this is this is what I was sort of touching on before. I could come in here, copy it, create a new measure, right, and then paste it. Ah, it didn't work. But what I could do is I could actually go sales quarter, sales quarter to date. I'm um, sorry, I didn't copy it properly, but I can just write it out pretty quick. So calculate um, total sales, right. And then instead of month today, I could go and find dates quarters today. So it's exactly the same thing. I'm just changing what the function is that I'm calling. And so this this is where it just comes down to having a good understanding of what you want to you want you want to see. And then you know a lot of these functions already exist for you, and it's and it's nothing complicated. Just inputting them in the and uh, you know in the, in the correct environment or the, for the correct analysis that you want. And so then you'll see here that it's now. Um, a cumulative total um, at, on a, in a quarterly at a quarterly basis, okay, or on a quarterly basis. Okay, so that's just an introduction, you know, around time intelligence functions and how you use them. And I really want you to just dive into them more and explore how they might operate, um, you know, in your in your own models for for what you need. And then never think you're just risk. These can sometimes be intermediary calcs before you then get to your ultimate calculation you want like the daily difference for example or the percentage difference you know you could you could go one one more and you could work out okay what was the percentage difference between yesterday and today um so these are the you know these are the things that you can branch out to when you utilize um, time intelligence functions effectively okay let's move on hopefully um hopefully you can find the time to to really dig into these a little bit more